So why are most companies terrible at digital transformation? A recent survey points this out. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Cloud Insider, where you'll hear about the reality of cloud computing and the expanding use of generative AI. I'm your host, Dave Lenticum, author, speaker, cloud computing thought leader, tech exec, b -list geek. Let's start the discussion. So this comes from a uh, blog post I did, uh, just posted this morning on InfoWorld, uh, which highlighted some research that was just done uh, around the effectiveness and the ability for digital transformation projects to bring value back to businesses. And it's interesting to me uh, what they found out. First, let, let's define what digital transformation is, because there's so many people that are defining it differently right now, and it's, it's kind of confusing out there. Basically, it's the ability to change the state of a business so it's able to more effectively work with customers and a workforce uh, at its essence. And so that means moving to cloud, digital enablement, leveraging AI, all these things to increase the digital experience, to enhance the digital experience for people who are interacting with the, with the company, such as customers, and how the workforce uh, provides productivity to the company. And, and so it's, it's immensely important and basically automating and putting processes in place to make a business as efficient, as effective as possible. So if you read my blog post, I have a, my own definition of digital transformation in there, and I urge you to read that because I think there is some confusion about what it is and what, it, what it's able to do. So some of the research that came out, companies spent uh, 1.6 trillion in 2022 in digital transformation by whatever definition I guess they're using, which is expected to reach 3.4, trillion by 2026. This according to Statistica Research, and I'll post the research uh, down below. However, the research shows that the return on those investments has been mixed to poor. And according to McKinsey and Company Research, transformation projects' long-term positive impact is rare. A majority, 56% of the respondents say their organization have achieved most of their digital transformation goals, which is good news. However, only 12% report sustained goals over three years. Uh-oh, got some problems there. Also, an average of 42% of financial benefits are lost during the later stages as a large-scale change, uh, change effort. So what's going on here is that people are uh, making tries to drive digital transformation with their, within their environment. What that looks like is you know, migrating things to cloud, putting in uh, better uh, customer interfaces, uh, the ability to interact with customers in a more automated way, um, e-commerce systems, things like that, whatever you need to do. And they're not seeing the benefits that comes back to the business based on the work that they've done. And in many instances, they are doing this in tactical ways. And so they're not getting any kind of strategic return based on the fact they're not spending a lot of money on what they need to be spending on a money, a, a lot of money at. So Ultimately, this is about culture more so than technology. You have a tendency to blame technology as a reason why some sort of technological uh, project failed. That's not the case here. This is about the inability for the culture to accept and wrap their arms around the fact that this is truly going to be a transformative change in what they do, how they think, how they deal with technology, how they deal with the customers, how they deal with each other. And that doesn't seem to be coming through. And so digital transformation is translated to in many of these companies as very tactically oriented transformation projects that... Uh, you know, basically solve little problems that they may have. They may automate inventory control, may automate aspects of their supply chain, but don't get to the holistic digital transformation strategy that needs to be in place. And so as I point out in the blog, there's a couple of things that businesses are missing. Um, number one, they're not thinking about this holistically. They're focusing on the narrow. They're focusing on migrating a couple of hundred applications to the cloud. Uh, they're focusing on putting in a new inventory control system. They're focusing on doing things that are gonna solve problems, but they're gonna solve problems in the narrow. So in other words, they're not gonna contribute to a larger strategy in terms of how they're doing digital transformation. And that's because in many instances, there's not a large strategy in place. If you ask people typically who failed at digital transformation, what was their digital transformation strategy? Most can't explain it to you because they don't know. They know that we need to move to a more automated state. They need to use more cool technology and need to use more cloud. But they don't know how to put that into a strategy sync or, uh, order to change the culture, to train people, and to get people marching in that direction. So 
They're focusing on things like architecture in the wide without for, uh, without forgetting architecture in the narrow. Um, so you need to ultimately look at this as a larger strategic problem. So I call it architecture in the wide. So in other words, we're putting together a digital transformation strategy, which comes with the technology stack, which is holistically focused at everything in the business. In other words, wide, uh, the, the way in which we do legacy systems, leveraging cloud-based systems, the e-commerce systems, inventory control systems, manufacturing systems, things like that. It all needs to be considered. We can't just take a piece of it and say, we're going to transform this particular piece of it, not have the other ones transformed and expect to get a lot of value out of that, as we saw in some of the uh, uh, some of the research that was just done that I just list that I just named to you. So if you're not able to look at this as a larger strategic problem, I think you're going to miss really kind of the value of digital transformation. By the way, that doesn't mean you don't need to focus on architecture in the narrow or how are you going to deploy tactical deployments of technology, cloud migrations, things like that. You need to succeed at that as well, but you have to have a more holistic understanding and a strategy of how all this stuff is coming together. And I think that's what, uh, what people are missing out there. So this is not an easy fix. So I could wish I could tell you that moving everything to the cloud is going to get you there. That's not the case. Ultimately, this is going to be about uh, strategic systemic change to most of the processes and most of the things they do and how they leverage technology and how they value technology. Keep in mind that technology is becoming the business. Our ability to provide a customer experience that's unique and uh, better than the competition is gonna give us a leg up in the market and the ability to drive innovation changes, leveraging AI capabilities, those sorts of things, to get to a point where it's much easier to interact with the business, you're able to do things in a much more efficient and less expensive state. And from the workers to the customers, everybody who deals with the customers, they're gonna be happier with how they interface with the company. And so the only way to do that is to look at this strategically in terms of how you're going to get your ducks in an order and how you're going to build a meta architecture and then the micro architectures to serve it. And that's kind of what we're missing here. This is very important because I view the incremental failures that are occurring right now, which, we've, which we which uh, highlighted in the research that was done as things are gonna remove value from the company. So even though they're moving to improve things, they're taking resources out that don't have the effective value that brought back to the company. And so they're spending money where there's no value gain. Everybody may feel like they're doing something. They've migrated a thousand applications to the cloud, uh, started a generative AI system, all these sorts of things. But that not that's not going to bring the value back that the company needs for the investments have. You have to have this strategic look at how all this stuff kind of works in place well together and you build toward this strategy. So that's kind of it. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, please like and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out my blog on InfoWorld, my LinkedIn learning courses. Check out my book. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Cheers.